if your grub was working before and then you get this or this or it goes straight into Windows if you duo boot, then I'll show you how you can get grub working again. So I'll be breaking my grub to show you what will happen. I'm going to go into Arch Linux, open up a terminal, sudo in. First, I'm going to type in fdisk-l. And so here's my disk here. And I have a dual boot setup. So the first four partitions here are related to Windows. And the last two partitions here are related to Linux. And so SDA5 is my EFI partition for Arch Linux. And SDA6 is for Slash. So I'm going to go into my boot directory ls-al, and there's grub, so I'm going to go into it, ls-al, and we see there's the grub.cfg file. The cfg file is the main configuration file for grub. It has the boot menu entries of how to find and load the OSs that you have, such as Arch and Windows. So if I were to remove it, and then restart my computer, and then this is what will show up. So that's the grub configuration file being removed. And if I delete everything related to grub, cd out, rm rf grub, grub is no longer there. And if I go into the EFI directory, ls, and I go into arch, ls, and there's the EFI file for grub x64, and I can remove that as well. So I'm going to remove the arch directory and then ls-al and so it's no longer there and now I reboot and then this is what will show up. So I'm going to fix grub by reinstalling it and I'm going to use the arch linux installation media and I'm using the installation media from October 2024. So the installation media started up and I'm going to go into arch linux. All right, now I'm at the shell and I'm going to type in fdisk-l. And so there's dev sda5 and dev sda6. So I'm going to mount both of those partitions. I'm going to mount dev sda6 first. And I'll mount it to the mount directory, mnt. Next, I'm going to mount the EFI partition for arch. So it'll be under mnt slash boot. And I'm going to arch to root into the mount directory. And now I'm going to do a grub install. Grub install target xa6 underscore 64 dash EFI and then EFI directory slash boot and we see that there's no issues so that's good and then i'm going to do a grub make config all right and the new configuration has been made and so if i go into the boot directory and then go into grub and we see how the files are there go back out go into the efi directory and then we can see Arch, and we see the EFI file there, so that's good. And now I'm going to exit out of the true root, and I'm going to reboot. If grub doesn't come up, double check your hard drive boot order. In my case, it still has the Windows Boot Manager selected as being number one. So I have to change that so Arch is first, and then save changes and exit. All right, grub comes up, and I'm going to go into Arch. And I'm going to log in. All right, and if you're dual booting with Windows, you'll probably notice that there is no Windows boot entry there. So I'm going to fix that. Open up a terminal, sudo in, and type in OS Prober. And then run grub make config again. And we see it's there. And going to reboot again.
All right, Grub comes up and we see Windows there. So that's good. And I'm gonna boot into it. It's working as expected. For those that have a multi-boot setup, I'll show you how you can fix Grub without having to reboot twice. All right, so I've booted into the Arch Linux installation media and I'm at the shell. And I'm gonna mount the partitions like before. And if I arch to root into it, and I type in OS Prober, we see that it can't find Windows. But if I do it fdisk-l, and we can see that Windows is there. So to fix it, I'm going to get out of the to root. I'm not going to be using the arch to root script, and I'm going to be manually mounting the directories that I need. So that'll be slash dev, slash dev, pts, slash proc, slash sys, and slash run. And now I'm going to root into it. And if you get this, you could just use bash. All right, now I'm in the true root, and now I'm going to do a grub install. If you get this about the EFI variables, just have to mount them, make them available. So I'm going to do that. mount dash t efi var fs non sys firmware efi efi vars and then run it again and we see it's installed and now i'm going to run os prober and we see it has detected windows and now i'm going to do a grub make config All right, the config has been made. Now I'm going to exit out the true root and reboot. All right, and we see it's booted up Grub as expected. And so that's how you can fix Grub if you're running Arch Linux. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.